CB Chris Broussard is back, mm. but Marcellus, should Steph Curry want to commit long term to the Warriors? Absolutely. Are they going to give him two hundred fifteen million dollars again? Uh, first player to get two two hundred million dollar contracts. Where is he going? <sighs> okay, when you look at Steph Curry play basketball, you want you notice one thing that he has a pure shot. I mean, wet. I mean, water, right? Well, there's something pure also about him just being a Golden State Warrior. Now, they had some moments, run TMC and all that kind of stuff, but Steph Curry is Golden State and the Warriors. Why would you leave? One, they're taking care of you and your money. We had an argument in the A block talking about, well, you can get your money elsewhere. He could get his money and stay still. Then where is he in terms of the roots? He's in Silicon Valley, y'all. What is going on there? Tech opportunities. He's creating apps every other day. Him and Aisha have this thriving off-the-court business. Like, everything is centered around that universe that he's created up there in the Bay Area. So you got your roots, your money, you got the tech and the opportunities, and you're going to get your squad going forward. Klay Thompson, if he could stay healthy, the second-best player on this team, that's why they've missed the postseason, but... He's coming back next year. You add that where Andrew Wiggins is now your third best player. Love that. Jordan Poole, James Wiseman. You got something there. So all I know, if I'm Steph Curry and you offer me historical money and the opportunity still presents itself to be in the Bay Area, I'm not going anywhere. I don't think he should commit to the Warriors long term yet. You got to let this ride out for one year, big dog, because here's what it is. Klay Thompson hasn't really played basketball in 700 days. So if you, mm. Steph Curry, at 34 years of old age, which is what you would be next year, mm. plus Draymond Green, whose skills are diminishing rapidly before our eyes, plus Klay Thompson, who wouldn't have played ball in 700 days, if y'all can't bring that magic together one more time next year, y'all are never bringing that magic back together, and that ship has set sail. Wiggins would be on his third year in Golden State. Wiseman would be on his second year in Golden State. And Steve Kerr, we all assume, is one of the most competent head coaches, but without his superstars, we start to question that. Mm. It's simple for me, Sal. Don't commit to the Warriors long term unless you are sure you can gain back what you had back in 2015 and 2016. Mm. If you can't get that back, why would you stay there long term? Because you've seen what life looks like without Klay Thompson healthy. You've seen what life looks like without Kevin Durant present. You've seen what life looks like when you get banged up, Steph Curry, anywhere from 15 and 50 to 39 and 33. Life does not look good. You're scratching and clawing just to stay in the playoffs or playoff race. And lastly, Clippers are going to stay competent. Lakers ain't going nowhere unless LeBron goes somewhere. The Nuggets, as long as uh, the Joker is out there doing his thing and Jamal Murray comes back healthy, they going to make noise. Spidey Mitchell and Gobert ain't going nowhere no time soon. Dame Lillard and CJ ain't going nowhere. So it's not getting easier. So Warriors, unless you plan on getting better than Steph Curry, you might as well make a move when the time comes. Yeah, Acho's right on the money on this one. Uh, yeah, your goal should be to stay with the Warriors long term, but let it play out. Be patient. See what happens next season. I, for one, think they're going to be contenders next season. Now, you're right. It's a question mark as to how Clay comes back, but I'm assuming Clay comes back and plays well, just like Kevin Durant mm. has come back and played well. They're both great shooters. So let's say you got Steph, you got Clay. I think Draymond's actually playing very good basketball. He was on my first team all defense. Yeah. He's one of the finalists for defensive player of the year. He's he playmaking. He averaged a career high in assists, basically nine a game. He can't score, but he never could score. He only scored <laughs> adequately in the past because you had to worry about Steph and Clay and eventually KD. So now you bring back Steph and Clay. You watch Draymond's scoring go up because Andrew Wiggins is legit too. So you got all those guys. You got James Weissman, who I love as a fit for that team coming back. And you have Minnesota's lottery pick, top three protected, but it could be four, number five. So you've got that and your own lottery pick. So they have got two really good draft picks. Now they can use them in the draft or they might, maybe you try to package Minnesota's pick, I would go after a Bradley Beal or somebody like that. So let it play out. See if you're a contender next year. They should be a Western Conference contender next year. Doesn't mean they have to win the West, but if they're in the hunt, if they're on the same level as the Lakers, Clippers, 
whoever the top teams in the West are, then re-sign long-term and go for another ring in your franchise, Golden State. But if they finish, say, seventh or eighth, and it's clear, whether Clay's the same or not, it's just clear that, you know what, the run is over. We're not on the same level as the elite teams in the league. Then I think Steph should look at his options of moving on. He'll be 34 years old. He looks like he's got four or five more years at a high level. Got Athletes are playing a lot longer today. Why should he play those last four or five years of his prime just playing for stats and the second round of the playoffs? He can go elsewhere and build a team up with some other guys. Because here's the thing, guys, and I'll be quick so we can go around again. What if Brooklyn runs through the league this year? What if Brooklyn wins the championship and loses maybe two or three playoff games in doing so? Everybody's going to be like, okay, who's the super team that's going to challenge them? Steph could go somewhere in the future, whether it's the Clippers, whether it's with LeBron or some other team, and form a super team to challenge them because nobody looks down at you for moving around anymore. Kawhi, KD, LeBron, they've all done it. I'm with you on the second half of your take, CB, because Clippers, the, the Clippers, Clippers. recruiting to Golden State, I just don't think Golden State is going to contend anymore. If you look at the West, it's not what it was when, first off, LeBron is in the West now. And that instantly makes the West significantly and exponentially harder than when Steph Curry and them was just running through the West for four to five years straight. Huh. So I don't think the Warriors' days of contention are still present. And primarily because at least they had that three-headed monster. But to me, there's still question marks. Clay, yes, he could come back and he could ball like KD, but Clay would have now missed significantly more time than KD and suffered another significant injury. Furthermore, Draymond, maybe he still has it from a defensive perspective, but the second fewest points he's had in the last seven mm -hmm. years, the most turnovers he's had in the last five years, the second fewest rebounds he's had in the last seven years, the second fewest blocks he's had in the last eight years. Like, Draymond is just not the same Draymond. While Steph is still holding par, and some could argue ascending, Draymond ain't it, and Klay Thompson is a question mark. You can't commit to somebody who ain't it and somebody who's a question mark long term. So I'm with you on the part of your take that simply says, Look, Steph, nobody judges people anymore for chasing <laughs> superstar, superstar teams and chasing rings. You go ahead, and if you can't beat them, you join them. Man, uh, let me get up in here and get some of these ribs. Um, I love my job because I like doing my job. Uh, I sure got y'all shook out there talking about the West ain't the same. LeBron's in the West. Let me just give you the timeline of LeBron James in the West and tell me if you should be scared since Acho is. Uh, first year, no playoff. Second year, bubble champs. Third year, seven seed. They haven't won a playoff game. Next year, 37. I'm step. I'm like, I ain't scared of that. Bring it on. See, I tell you, think you're slick. Trying to hide behind the crown of the king. Huh? We'll see. They were one shot away from beating the defending champion Los Angeles Who made Lakers. The shot? Uh, hey, LeBron made the shot, but this is the point. I'm not going to say, hey, Aisha, pack up. Why are we leaving? Where are we going? Milwaukee or something. What the hell? We're going to L.A. Why? We up here in the Bay. Like, all the money's up here. Where are we going? Just because we lost by that close to the defending champions. And then you give the standard, like if they're going to be the 2015-2016 Golden State Warriors, yes, yeah, they. Dog, they won 73 games, even though they didn't win a championship. That's like the highest standard ever. Steph Curry, you're looking at three guys on this screen right now, but two of those guys are talking to you like an analyst. I'm going to put my other hat on. I'm going to be a life skills coach. I'm going to help you out and tell you what my therapist told me one day because my therapist knows me. I'm really competitive in some kind of, like, lazy, weird way. So, basically, I want it all, but I'm not going to show you that I want it all. I'm just going to try and get it. And my therapist told me one day, had me crying up in there, spending all my money. I'm losing money at the dollar at the dollar because I'm tearing up instead of using it for dialogue. I'm, I'm mad at myself still. Ten minutes of crying. He said, Marcellus, 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 calm down. You won. And I'm not lying. I said, what? He said, you won. Like, we're all just big-ass kids. And when we were kids, we all wanted to accomplish something. And then when you accomplish it, be careful how much more you're trying to seek to accomplish rather than respecting what you've already accomplished. The grass ain't greener, gr Steph. Where you going? Where you going? You going to go join a super team? You know how they're going to take a shot at your legacy if you do that. So I think the peace of mind angle that we haven't talked about just yet comes from realizing that you've grabbed a lot and maybe... This is all there is. Ain't nothing wrong with that.